everybody, this is Twenty Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review the Meyerowitz stories, new and selected. Why can't it just be called the Meyerowitz stories, like new and selected? Whatever. So the Meyerowitz stories, I'm just gonna call it that, is written and directed by Noah Bumbuck, and the film stars Adam Sandler, Ben Stiller, Dustin Hoffman, Emma Thompson, and Grace Van Patten. So the Meyerowitz stories tells the story of this dysfunctional family that come to New York and get together to be at this event that is celebrating the work of their father. So going into the Meyerowitz stories, I was obviously very interested in this film because I love the cast. I just thought the storyline looked very interesting. I do respect Noah Bombuck a lot as a writer and director. And I wanted to see how just a story like this can be executed. And when it comes to Adam Sandler and Ben Stiller, two very comedic actors, surprisingly, these two haven't really worked that much when it comes to movies. So seeing them play brothers in this film also just had me interested. And hearing the amount of buzz that this movie has been getting, I was hoping Marwood Stories is a film I can at least like. I don't have to necessarily love this film, but as long as I like this film, I would be very satisfied with it. Unfortunately, I um, wasn't too big with the Marwood stories. I gotta be honest. This movie didn't really do it for me. It's not a bad movie. It's not, definitely. And I'm gonna tell you the biggest positive when it comes to this film are the performances. The performances from everybody here are top notch. Seriously. Everyone in this film is great. There's not a single weak performance in the Meyerowitz stories. As far as performances go, this is honestly a four out of four star movie. Like if I were to just judge this movie on performances, it's four out of four stars. Like seriously, that's how great these performances are. Starting off with Adam Sandler. Now it's nice to see Adam Sandler in a dramatic role. I know technically the last film he's done dramatically was Men, Women, and Children. I have not seen Men, Women, and Children so I cannot comment on that. But I know he doesn't really do a lot of dramatic roles, but when he does do one, it's very cool. And look, personally, I don't really hate him as a comedy actor either. I know he does get a lot of flack for his comedy movies. I personally am positive with most of his movies. Yes, there's some that I'm not exactly positive on, but most of Adam Sandler's comedy movies, I actually do really like, to be honest. But as a dramatic actor, it is really refreshing to see him um, just do something like this and he does not disappoint Adam Sandler continues to show why he's a great dramatic actor Adam Sandler just provides so much emotion to his character and even how his character walks too that's something I have to comment on the way his character walks his movements I, I actually was very impressed by that and he did a very wonderful job now Ben Stiller just like with Adam Sandler it's not really a surprise he's great at dramatic roles because we've seen him in dramatic roles hell I just reviewed Brad Status another dramatic Ben Stiller role for him and Ben Stiller was great in that film too and in the Myra stories he might be just a little bit better here to be honest he just might be because what he had to do in the Myrowitz stories is truly just so amazing there's one scene with Ben Stiller alone that truly blew me away. That one scene had my heart pounding and I got a little bit choked up because Ben Stiller really nailed that moment. As far as Dustin Hoffman goes, I mean, come on. It's Dustin Hoffman. For me to say he's great uh, should not be a surprise. You know, Dustin Hoffman does what he does best and that is really getting into his role. He gets lost in this role and I just thought he did such a great job. Emma Thompson is also really good here. I also really liked Emma Thompson and Grace Van Patten who does play the sister of Ben Stiller and Adam Sandler's characters. I thought she was very good too. I really liked her. Same with Adam Sandler's daughter. Same with anyone else you happen to bump into the Marwood stories. I honestly do think everyone here 
gives it their all. Now, this is a dramedy film, so comedy is expected. And when it comes to the comedy aspect of the film, um, some moments I did laugh at. Not a whole lot, and of course I'll get more into that, but the parts that did work for me really did work for me. There were actually some genuine moments where I did laugh hard watching this film. As far as Noah Bumbuck's direction goes, I thought sometimes he did direct this movie very beautifully. Um, some of the camera work in this film I did find to be very nicely done. Thanks to Noah Bumbuck, who is very talented as a director, some moments he really does shine as a director. And the cinematography in some moments I thought were truly beautiful. They were very well shot. The dramatic scenes are the best scenes in this film. I do think the dramatic scenes truly are very, very well executed when they are in this film. Like, no doubt, the dramatic scenes really are on point. And for my final positive, I did like the last 20 to 25 minutes of the Marwitz stories. That's when I actually got really, really into the movie, was within the last 20 to 25 minutes of the Marwitz stories, because it was honestly everything I was hoping the rest of the movie would be. <sighs> And now this is where I get to my problems with this film because leading up to the final 20 to 25 minutes of the Marwitz stories, I have to sit through the first two acts, which sadly for me feels like a chore to sit through. Most of the Marwitz stories really did bore me. There were honestly times where I was zoning out watching this film because it was just not interesting. I was not getting into the story. Even though, yes, there are some good moments that happen within the first two acts of the film and, you know, some humorous moments, for the majority, I really was not getting sucked into it. And that's very unfortunate. And as far as the characters go, I didn't even find myself compelled with most of these characters. I cared about Adam Sandler's character, Danny, and I cared about Ben Stiller's character, Matthew, but I did not really care about really the rest of the characters. Emma Thompson, even though she's very good, I really didn't feel like the movie did much with her character. And same thing does go for um, Jean, who is Matthew and Danny's sister. I didn't think she was compelling. Anytime the movie focused a little more on Jean, I honestly was just begging the movie to focus more on Matthew and Danny because they really are the only characters that I really did get behind and not with Jean. They don't do much with Jean. They don't do much with Emma Thompson's character and uh, Dustin Hoffman. I get it. He's supposed to play that unlikable father, but man, was it really hard to care for this father when he is just so unlikable and the sons like uh, Matthew and Danny they try anything they can you know to help with their father and the dad he's just so yeah he is just not likable honestly it was really hard for me to get behind him Dustin Hoffman really is lost in this role and I commend him for it but I did not care about his character as well as the majority of these characters and it's a shame because I really do think there's a lot of potential for there to be this very compelling story revolving around this dysfunctional family but I had a hard time getting behind this family and the situations that go on and not to mention that this is an incredibly incredibly choppy movie. My word, the editing and the Myrit stories got really distracting. Now, this movie is divided into chapters, which I think is really cool. However, when it would transition to a different chapter, it gets so distracting. Like, I'll give you an example. Thank you very Oh my god! Wow, this is a fascinating road. 
That's what the movie does. It's so frustrating. Just finish up your sentence and then cut to the new chapter. It's not hard. Just do it. It was annoying the hell out of me, to be honest. Not only does the movie have these really abrupt cuts, but it even does that abrupt, like, you know, shade to black transition. I'm not really a fan of movies that transition to black. If they use it in a minimal fashion, it doesn't bother me. But when they use it a lot, I can't stand that. And unfortunately, the Myrwood stories, not only does it have those abrupt cuts I really couldn't stand, but anytime it transitioned to black, I got really annoyed with that too. Even with the last 20 to 25 minutes. Like I said, that's easily the most engaging thing about this movie, the last 20 to 25 minutes. But even with that section of the movie that I really liked, I still got annoyed with those constant abrupt cuts. And I really do respect Noah Bombuck for what he tried to do with this movie movie direction wise and writing wise but like I said I just wasn't really compelled watching this film the moments where the characters are talking I honestly just found myself so bored and the direction too I just thought was so stale to be honest the cinematography unfortunately wasn't even that impressive for most of this movie like I said in some moments the cinematography really does shine and when it shines it shines but most of the movie, just like with the direction and unfortunately even the script, I just found it to be rather flat. Even most of the comedy I thought had very awkward timing too. Like I didn't think that timing for most of the comedy really had exactly the best timing either. It was just very off. And although I did really like the last 20 to 25 minutes of this movie, how the movie ended, I did think was rather abrupt. Yeah, I'm just seeing her going, hmm, okay. Um, and not to mention that it did take the movie a little bit while to find its ending. It definitely didn't drag for me compared to the first two acts because the first two acts really, really dragged for me. But I was watching the last like five minutes of the movie or even seven minutes of the movie going, yeah, they could probably end it from here or end from here and end from here. Like I could tell they were kind of struggling on where to really end this movie. Overall, I found the Meyerowitz stories to be an incredibly disappointing movie. It's mediocre in terms of its writing, in terms of most of the direction, in terms of most of the cinematography. The editing got really annoying for me and I had a hard time getting behind most of the characters. Most of the characters I just found to be very forgettable. I do admire what Noah Baumbach tried to do with this film. I really, really do. But unfortunately, it just didn't come together very well at the end of the day. It just turned into this mediocre, forgettable movie. I'm going to give the Marwood stories two out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about the Meyerowitz stories. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.